we're gonna make a simple emissive material with parameters that you can control the flicker to make something like this. All right, here inside of Unreal, this is the original camera from the uh, other video. And I zoomed in here on this part of the scene and duplicated this logo a few times for this. I'm gonna start with a um, master material and actually apply it to the center. Create a constant vector three by holding three and clicking. And then we're gonna convert this, like most of the things, to parameters. This one's gonna be color. So this will be the color of our emission. We're gonna make it like purple. Oop. Let's try that again. Make it like purple. Get up there. And then drop it on. Hit save. Boom. All right, so we've got some color. That's all emissive can't really tell that's emissive yet so let's uh, go to the post process volume and I have um, the first two things I do always is turn on infinite extend unbound and then the bloom right here uh, it's it's probably okay actually because we're about to increase the intensity so let's leave that I also turned off the lens flare because that kind of gets in the way so I clicked on intensity zero so all right, back in the emissive material, we're gonna create another parameter. Another way to do this, just constant, and convert this one to uh, glow intensity. And this can go to a multiply, multiply, and connect here, actually. Boom, 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 boom. And actually bump that up to 10, maybe? Let's see, we should get some more glow. Yeah, look at that. All right, so we got some glowing. Uh, this whole thing, I'm gonna select all and hit C for comment, and this is just gonna be the color. Um, just kind of helps organize things. We'll make that purple as it is. Okay, next would be the flicker. Um, so we'll create a time node and also a Flicker speed, convert that to a parameter. And these two will connect with another multiply. And just an example, this is not the way we're going to end, just a simple sine curve and connect those things with a multiply as well. So this one's gonna go in here. I always do that wrong, but whatever, we're getting there. So that's this, and then we'll call this stuff all the uh, flicker. Let's make it eh, this color. Yay. Flicker speed set to one, and you can see it's just a simple sine wave. It's going up and down, up and down, up and down. And there's a little bit of a fade you can see in there, but it's mostly just on and off. An alternate uh, addition here, you can add a frac node basically just pushes through the fraction or decimal part of the input. And you can see that's nice. It adds some variation. Uh, to me, it doesn't feel like enough control. I'm gonna actually pause that, hit save, and go with a clamp. I'm gonna hold one, clamp min, and that can be uh, 0.9. Going for subtle here. Hold one, convert to parameter, clamp, max. And this one's gonna be one. Not 10, one. Connect those in, and then let's connect that to multiply node and hit save. It's hard to see, I'm gonna go down to 0.5 so you can see a little better. So now it's going down to 0.5 and as the minimum and one as the max, um, instead of like 
point one you can put there and then now it's going almost all the way off as far as glowing so let's actually move that up to like 0.5 so you can see a little more and i like to add a comment so this is all the clamp pull this back give ourselves some space change the color what do we need we need a little orange okay another option that feels a little more organic to me is a different type of noise so i'm going to type in vector noise and i'm going to switch this to purl and curl and we're going to skip the sign and the frac and go right into the clamp pop these down and update that that feels a little better to me another option is go through the frac and to the clamp if we increase this a little you can see it better 25 seems like a little a little jarring let's skip the frag again or frac again and that's the basic setup that i would suggest one additional parameter is nice for your material instances uh, so i'm gonna create a randomizer and connect it with an add node always got to go into the bottom and right before it goes into the noise and then this is called uh, we'll call it randomizer or seed how about that it's a little more generic and for this I'm going to set the slider max to one and default at zero so all right hit save let's see how this could work I'm gonna use a material instance and I'm gonna put it on this guy those should be the same yep looks like they're blinking the same I'm gonna do another material instance I'm gonna actually replace this one and let's see we can cause a little create a little variety with this randomizer on the second one so if i enable it and then just scroll this thing forward a little bit you see what's happening it's blinking a little different well there's a little bit different math going on in there for the noise so what i did on my scene is basically apply this all over the place with a little variety to the seed you can do it again drop it on the third one and for the third one let's just make it a little different so now i got three different versions all blinking a different variety feels pretty organic to me and obviously you can do all the, the fun stuff we'll say the third one we want it to be you know less glowy and the second one, we want to be a tighter clamp. And the first one, yeah, the, probably still a little bit tighter, but can make a different color, a little blue. Third one, you can make it a little red. You get the idea. I'm gonna hit save to save all, all these little asterisks or whatever they are, little symbols. Just wanna make sure I save um, and then save my scene just to make sure if it crashes, nothing happens. Uh, the same thing works for lights. And so close this out. So if I create a point light, drop it in, push it back, drop it back here, we'll put it over here on the side. And if I change my light color to something that matches the scene, a little blue. So then you go down to light function material and you can't actually drag this on there. Well, I'm sorry, you can. It's not gonna do anything. So I'm going to duplicate this one. I'm gonna call this one MLF for light function. Double click it, come in here, change the material domain to a light function, hit save, apply that to the light. 
you can see some flicker happening here. If we, if we decrease this value, the glow intensity down to one, hit save. And you can see the light is flickering in the same sort of way. You can obviously create material instances from these as well. So you can apply it to different lights around the scene. I didn't end up actually using the post-process volume bloom and flare effects. I exported an image sequence of EXRs, brought them into Resolve for some post effects there, and then even into Premiere for some Red Giant plugins and uh, slapped the music on underneath. Big shout out to my son, Luke, who uh, created the tracks in FL Studios. If you found this helpful, give it a like, subscribe to our channel, uh, leave a comment below. We love the dialogue. Till next time.